I've travelled to Worcester today and yes, I'm outside Yamazaki Mazak. It's November 2016 and this is their Industry 4 open house event. Today we catch up with Mark Hall, Alan Mucklow and John Liverton. We learn about new products, new technologies and specifically Industry 4. Mark, I hear a lot about the fourth industrial revolution or industry 4.0, but what does it mean to Mazak? Well, that's the beauty of this show this week, and that's what we're trying to show to our customers, that the advantages that we can take from industry 4 are here and now. It's not just something that's in the future being presented as a very futuristic project, but there are some clear advantages that will affect our customers in terms of greater throughput, greater productivity, higher utilisation of their machine tools. And they can learn that at this show this week? That's right. We're showing here this week a clear foundation and infrastructure being in place for Industry 4 or related concepts such as the Internet of Things. And we're pioneering in that ourselves with our manufacturing plants. We've just opened our, our first iSmart factory in Aguchi. We have a second plant in Kentucky. And we're rolling that through our other 10 manufacturing plants. And this week we're going to show that the infrastructure that is tangible for customers today. And when does the show finish? The show finishes on Friday, so there's a real opportunity this week to get here and to see this technology and how it would benefit. Danny, tame get around. You come to a lot of these events. What do you like about the Mazak Open House specifically? Uh, we like the fact that a lot of people come, you know, existing customers, new customers. There's a lot of footfall here. Um, and I mean, our work holding lends itself very well to most of the Mazak machines. So we've got the five axis vices for the five axis machines. And uh, we've got. You cover all really, turning and milling, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, turning was our bread and butter, really. I mean, we've been making chuck jaws now for 70 years. Uh, but now we import lots of products, mainly from Germany, but also from all over the world to, to cover everything. This is the first time I've been able to get close to this machine today, John. This, this has been a highlight of Mazak's open house this week. What's attracting the attention? Well, it's the uh, relaunch of the multiplex range. Uh, this is a totally new configuration. It's got the smooth G control. It's got the new smooth uh, mill drive turret uh, and a totally new bed construction. And for visitors coming to the show this week, once they've seen this video, what, what is the fundamental difference between this and a normal twin turret, twin spindle turn in centre? Well, the configuration is different because the left hand head moves in Z rather than on a conventional twin turret machine, it's stationary. So the, the ergonomics are much better to load and unload the part. The floor plan area is smaller and it's easier to gantry load. Would you say it's a more stable working environment? Definitely, yes. And we've got the partition in the, in the middle. What, yes. what value does that add? Uh, you can run the machines as two totally separate machines having different operations on both sides or you can take the central partition away and use it as a combined machine. Now has this got Y-axis on both turrets, how many, how many tools has it got on the turrets? It's 12 tools and Y-axis on both turrets. It is available without the Y-axis as well but this particular one has got Y-axis on both. And the control here allows you to operate each kind of machine independently, the left exactly and the right. Exactly right, yes. The separate controls on, on the front there that run parallel channels. And the smooth technology is a big part of, of what you're pushing Absolutely. here too. Absolutely. It's, it's smooth drive, smooth control, smooth mill drive. Loving the gantry, that means you get uh, productivity the, to the maximum, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, we've upped the performance of the gantry. It's 180 metres a minute in the, uh, uh, the B-axis direction. I think I heard a word an engineer say to me earlier about this, total flexibility. Would you agree? Absolutely, total flexibility. Jane, how important is this event in Heinbuch's calendar? It's extremely important to us. Um, we come every year and we wouldn't miss it. The footfall is brilliant, so we get a lot of interest from our customers, old and new. I mean, Heinbuch sell top quality work holding solutions. Mazak sell premium quality machine tools. 
the two go together quite well, don't they? Yeah, extremely well. We've got a wonderful partnership with Mazda. the Mazak Open House and I'm interested to know why you've chosen the fourth industrial revolution as a theme. Okay, well for us Industry 4.0, the Internet of Things is, is clearly a topic which is on the, uh, the lips of pretty much everybody in manufacturing at the moment and we really wanted to set our view on how Industry 4, the Internet of Things, call it what you will, is accessible to people now. Um, we don't feel it's this uh, far off, uh, inaccessible um, technology, we, we believe that technology we're bringing to the marketplace is here and available to our customer base as we speak. So we really want to demonstrate what is out there in terms of Mazak technology, and particularly SPS, the smooth process support technology we can offer. I mean, when you say Mazak clients, we're not talking about big clients, we're talking about small clients as well, SMEs. I think we're talking about the range. I think it's very important to, um, to make sure that people understand that Industry 4 is for everybody, not just for the the large OEMs and tier ones, it's really across the scale of our customer base, be it from aerospace to subcontract to dye and mould to medical. I think we have to make sure that they see the benefits that Industry 4 and the technologies we can offer give them in terms of their productivity, efficiency and ultimately the competitiveness in, in the UK and European marketplace. And we've heard a lot of negativity in the marketplace with Brexit and other factors. How's it been for Mazak this year? This year's been very strong again. Um, we've seen a, a, obviously a a downturn in some sectors, for oil and gas in particular, um, but other sectors have remained very strong. Aerospace, uh, dye mold, medical, um, automotive, uh, of course, has, been, has remained uh, very strong. So, yeah, it's been a strong year for us, and um, that's really key for our innovation and driving technologies which maintain our position in the marketplace. And I know the last two days have been very busy here at the show. There's two days to come, so why not come and have a look? Absolutely, we're very excited about the technology we're showing here. 22 machines on display along with the technology that we're showing on SPS. So it really is an opportunity for people to come down, understand what's available to improve their business uh, and hopefully make them more competitive into the future.